everyone, welcome to Keeper of My Home. My name is Erica and as always, I'm so glad to have you here today. If it's your first time here, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you for stopping by. And if you've been following me for a while, thank you so much. I appreciate you all. So this video is in collaboration with Rachel from Seven and All. She uploads videos on creative and adventurous homeschool life overseas. So please check out her video and all the mamas that are participating in this collaboration, the playlist will be in the description below. Let's get started. We're gonna be talking about unpopular trends in homeschooling. And one of the unpopular trends that I'm gonna be talking about today is the traditional homeschooling. So I've been trying to look up other types of homeschooling resources or methods such as unschooling, Montessori, traditional, there's traditional, there's um, different kinds of methods of homeschooling. So in doing research, I have been trying to implement other methods into my homeschool rhythm, my homeschool schedule, the way I teach or instruct my children. Now, for the most part, I'd like to say I want to be open-minded because I'm still learning and I'm still growing. But it seems like no matter how much I try, I still lean towards the traditional way of homeschooling. Or, um, for example, Last week, out of nowhere, my husband was off from work and my kids woke up early and my husband woke up early and he did schoolwork with them. Um, he took over and he didn't ask me, he didn't say anything, they just they just did it. And it was fine because we had a, a week off from school. So that day, I got up and I was like, wow. I was making breakfast for them and he's like, yeah, we're already started. And, and the way he approached his schooling or his way of teaching was totally like if you were in sixth grade again, you know, put your name on the board if you're in trouble, <clears throat> you get your name on the board if you're in trouble, um, you stand up to say the Pledge of Allegiance and um, we need spelling words. And um, so I was like, wow, I, have, I hadn't done any of that. I have, my children do know the Pledge of Allegiance, but like to actually stand up and like, you know, recite it in class. And he also did um, uh, like presentations, like after you do an assignment or after you do a project, we're gonna do presentations. And I, I hadn't even thought of doing that because that is what I did in school. And I thought homeschooling was part of, you just did your own thing, you know, however you wanted to do it. He had a timer, so the, t the children were timed whenever they did their spelling work, whenever they did uh, an assignment. Okay, we're gonna use 30 minutes and that's it, or 20 minutes or whatnot. So his approach to going to doing school, homeschooling, was more of a traditional school um, atmosphere. And the thing about it is that my kids loved it. They enjoyed it. I don't know if it's because he, the way he was, he was fun about it and he was exciting and, uh, and there was consequences if you didn't listen. For, for the most part, I've just said, you need to do your schoolwork or pay attention, pay attention, and maybe that's ineffective. So the way he went about it, um, the kids listened. They, they were more receptive and actually did their work because once they seen their name on the board, I don't know if it's because they, they got it right or they got it wrong. I think both. If you got your name on the board on one side, it was wrong or you got in trouble. If you got your name on the other side, you got tally marks for how many points you got. I don't know. <clears throat> but the point in saying that is that it worked. And although I was trying to stay away from being the traditional homeschool mom or the, doing things the way school does it because it has such a bad vibe, it has such a bad like connotation. What? We're not homeschooling. And through public school, so why are you trying to be, don't bring public school uh, ideas into your homeschooling. And I had that down. I thought that's the way, I, the direction I was going. And so I didn't even decorate my room for a while because Montessori, you know, they don't decorate, it's all natural. Um, everything's, uh, all the posters at eye level with children, which I do do that if, if there's any artwork um, it's at eye level. So, I am gonna continue this journey and learn, even if it's from my husband, it's so humbling because 
he had fun and the kids had fun and I was there to watch and I observed and I actually did take notes. I took notes on what he did and I was very proud of him and it taught me a lot. Like I said, it was humbling. But So this is for you. If you feel like you've there's so many moms out there, so many YouTubers, so many people that have their way of doing things, different methods, different homeschooling ways, and you will hear lots and lots and lots of ideas and opinions, even on a day-to-day -day basis, with your friends and fellow friends that are doing this curriculum and that curriculum. Just do you, just do what works for you. And if it looks different from everyone else, it may very well be because you're a different family and you you thrive different um, like I know I need rules I need a guideline I need I can't just be free for all let's just wake up whenever and I actually need like something to follow otherwise I would be very um, stressed to say the least so with all that said whatever you decide to do however you decide to homeschool unschool do school, public school, however you want, whatever you do, don't compare yourself and do what works well for your children. If your kids like posters on the wall, put them up. If they like the, the school colorful and your classroom or your homeschool room colorful, do the colors. If your kids like animation, do the animation. If you're more comfortable with doing unschooling and, and going free and, and whatever you decide, do it. This is a great thing about being able to homeschool our children is that we have that opportunity and that privilege of actually doing it the way we want to do it. No judgment, no condemnation, you do you. So with all that said, please like it, consider subscribing to this video. Please give it a thumbs up and please also watch the videos on the playlist and the other mamas with, I'm sure they're gonna have a full load of wisdom to share with you. So, thank you for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider sharing it with a friend or a loved one. Also, don't forget to click on that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video is uploaded. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And welcome to Keeper of My Home. I love you guys. Until the next video.